Mujinga Kambunji is champion. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here. Thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Yesterday in Istanbul at the annual Indoor European Championships, Switzerland's Munjinga Kambunji, as you all know, a channel favorite here, a huge favorite here at Peter Lloyd World. Well, she became the women's 60 meter indoor champion. And kudos and congratulations to her. Now, we want to do an entire feature on this because the truth is, we thought this was a very, very um, entertaining 60 meter competition throughout with three massive stars to boot. First up, of course, Munjinga Kambunji, then from England, Daryl Nita, and of course, Poland's very own Iwasa Boda. We had a great time watching this, so we hope that in sharing this with you, you also, as track fans and people who love sprints, will also enjoy this. Cleanly away, Svoboda not quite such a good start as Kambunji dominating here, Nita working so hard but being left behind, Kambunji, Svoboda then perhaps Nita with a bronze medal, Kambunji 7 seconds. Munjinga Kambunji laid down a very impressive 7 seconds flat to win the women's 60 meter dash final at the European Championships being held there in Istanbul, Turkey. Now leading into the finals, there were some great heats but we're not going to look at the heats. Let's look at the three semi-finals. First up, semi-final one, which was won by Poland's Iwa Sauboda, who looked really, really good heading into the final. Poland's Iwa Sauboda took semi-final number one in a time of 7.10 seconds and looked easy and comfortable to boot. Next up, semi-final two featured the remarkable rising sprint talent out of the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom's second fastest female sprinter, the remarkable Daryl Nita. Decent start for Daryl Nita, going well, Burkhart right up there as well, Sid on the far side is fading, it's Daryl Nita who comes away, and that's quick. That's very quick, 7-0-7, seven, seven, the quickest. So Daryl Nita looked really good in this semi-final, running a time of 7.07 seconds, which said to us she was highly competitive in this race and looked good. Then in semi-final number three, of course, it was Munjinga Kambunji. Kambunji impressed in semi-final number three, running the fastest time of the semi-finals, a time of 7.05. Eliminacja sztafety w Monachium w ubiegłym roku. To, że trzecim, ona jest groźną rywalką. 7.19 w tym roku, 7.18 biegała Portugalka Martinez, Kasa 7.21, Liza Meyer 7.20 i Magda Stefanowicz u dołu ekranu. Mujinga Kambunji już na czele, świetnie wystartowała, Magda troszkę słabiej. As you can see, Mujinga Kambunji looked comfortable and clearly entered the finals as the clear favorite to win. She looked remarkable. Let's watch her win once again.
Now, this, of course, is my two cents. The truth is, uh, I wasn't initially a big fan of the 60 meter dash up to like two years ago. But the truth is, the more I watch this race, is the more I realize that it is a race unto itself. Uh, the in referencing the six, the indoor 60 meter dash, and it's an art form of its own. In fact, it's a beauty to behold. Now, I concede that Monjika Kambunji. Um, winning this championship and running this very, very impressive seven seconds is not necessarily reflecting on the fact that she may or may not become dominant um, or a factor in the outdoor season in the women's 100 and or 200 meters. On a personal level, I am a big fan of and I believe that Bunjika Kambunji is a great talent and someone we should take seriously. And the same way I said to you last year that improving her speed in the first 60 improved Sharika Jackson's speed um, and that's why she was doing all that 60 meter work last year in the 100 meters and the 200 meters. I have to tell you that I honestly think that we will see the same thing happen with um, Munjinga Kambunji. If you remember last year, Munjinga Kambunji won in Belgrade. She won the championship, the 60 meter indoor world championship uh, women's final. And it did improve her time. We did see a marked difference. And I think that because of the caliber of athlete that she is, it will impact her outdoor seasons. season. So I think this is a big deal that she was able to win the European Indoor Women's 60 meter dash um, competition. Now, do I think she'll become a threat or a top five candidate in the women's outdoors 100 and 200 meters? I, I don't know. I mean, that's a really, really difficult one to answer. And the truth is the stats seem to say not quite yet. Um, she could be, but it's less likely than, you know, one would like to think. Um, she is a great talent. So I can't say I put it past her. And like I said, I am a personal huge fan of Unji Kambuji, her raw sprinting prowess, and I've seen the consistency in how she's improving, so we cannot take her lightly. She is someone to watch, but will she be a factor against a Shelly um, or a Sharika or, a Sharika, or a Elaine if she is healthy at this point? It's hard to say, it's unlikely, especially with the likes of the Aliyah Hobbs, and who I do think is a factor. Um, uh, of course, the remarkable Marie Jose Talou and others. I mean, there, there, there are lots of young talent coming up. But I do think, I do have to admit to you that I've become a huge fan of the 60 meter dash. I think it's a remarkable art, art form, watching the likes of a USL bowl, etc. And kudos and congratulations to Munjinga Kambunji. And big ups and the same congratulations to the bronze medalist there, um, Darren Eater of the United Kingdom. So I'm hoping that my love for my newfound love in the last six months for the 60 meter dash will translate to you, my regulars, and you will just enjoy the video simply for the sheer fact that we saw three remarkably talented fast women with the 60 meters compete. These times were very impressive. 707 for Daryl Nita, um, 710 for I Iwasa Boda, and 705 in the, in the, in the semis for Munjika Kambuji. Those are really, really, really world leading. Those are top, top tier times. Those are remarkable times. Um, and of course, nobody dipped below that. Nobody did what, um, we've seen two persons, I believe this year do this so far, which is the remarkable Aliyah Hobbs. And let us not forget the equally remarkable, and we have to speak, speak it into being, the equally remarkable Julian Alfred. So, Munjika Kambunji is now the European Women's 60 meter dash indoor champion. Kudos and congrats to her. Um, do you think this will impact her outdoor season? Do you think this makes her a factor, a top five threat in women's 100 and 200 meters outdoors? I'm not sure. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you're royals, you're kings and queens. Bless up!